Hi, Skillshare students. Are you ready to learn about UPO paper with me? Welcome to my home studio here in South Carolina. This is where I work to create custom pieces for customers all over the world. In this intro class, you're gonna learn all about painting on UPO paper. This is a lot of fun to paint on, very different from traditional watercolor paper, which is extremely unforgiving. So I think UPO paper is fabulous for beginners. One of my favorite things about it is it virtually wipes clean. So you don't have to stress about mistakes as much. Join this class, learn a bunch of tips and tricks, and just have a great time experimenting with this fun paper. I know you're gonna love it. I actually have an undergrad studio art degree, and I guess like most artists, um, they concentrate on creating things and they don't really concentrate on the business aspect and the marketing aspect. So once I finished that degree, I really didn't know where to go from there. I didn't know how to make art a career. So I went back to school and got my master's. Um, and got a real job, as, as some people would say. I got my master's and started teaching, and I taught elementary school for eight years. And then I had my daughter, and we moved, and I decided that I really wanted to get back into creating things and just, just being around people that enjoyed art. So I reached out to friends and family and painted their children and things like that. And then I reached out to animal rescues that I'm very passionate about. And I started donating my custom portraits to auctions to raise money for animal rescues. And my clients just kind of started building up. I just love working at home and being there for my daughter. So I get kind of the best of both worlds and I'm actually getting into live event painting. So that's my next adventure with art. I'm gonna go over all the materials that you need for this class. We're gonna talk about the differences between traditional paper and UPO paper as we do a little bit of experimenting. You're gonna work with different water and pigment ratios. You're also gonna learn how to lift pigment from the page. We're gonna use those basic skills to create a grouping of monochromatic trees. Then we get into color mixing. Lots of fun. We're gonna use our color mixing skills to create a beautiful fall tree. Now in this class, we're only gonna be using four colors. I've really limited the palette so that you have more success. For our final project, we're going to be painting a little group of pumpkins just in time for the fall. This will be a fun, loose, impressionistic painting and I'm gonna walk you through every step. I hope I've convinced you to give UPO paper and watercolor a try. I know you're gonna have a blast with this paper. It's something new, it's something different. I can't wait to see your progress through the class and all of the things that you're gonna create. So, I'll see you at the first lesson.